now we're getting into um, more about actually teaching in Korea. Um, and I just want to start off with the qualifications because people are always like, you know, what do I need? Do I need to have a bachelor's in education or do I need to, you know, what do I need to have? So um, basically two things are important. Mostly when it comes to teaching English in Korea, it's your nationality, unfortunately, and your qualifications. Um, so generally for qualifying for the um, English teaching visa, which is the E2 visa that most um, English teachers are on here, you must be a passport holder from the following countries. So US, Canada, United Kingdom, Ireland, South Africa, Australia, and New Zealand. Oh, ignore that university. <laughs> so um, yeah, you need to be from one of those countries. You need to be a passport holder from one of these countries. However, there are some loopholes and I'm going to talk about that in just a bit. So um, don't worry about that. Then you also need to have at least a bachelor's degree and um, a copy must be notarized and apostilled. So, um, but yeah, that's really, you can get that done very easily, but yeah, you need to have a bachelor's degree, but it doesn't matter which major. So it doesn't have to be in TESOL, it doesn't have to be in teaching, it doesn't have to be in English, it can be any major, as long as you've completed four years of education. Um, yeah, so that's sort of what you need in order to get the visa. Um, so your bachelor's degree, the copies, they must be notarized and apostilled. And there's a lot of companies that do that. So an apostille is like a, it's similar to a notarization, but like it's for international use. I think that's the difference. But um, there are a lot of services. If you search like, um, if you search it online, you can find services to do it. You know, they have express services. Uh, obviously, you need to pay more money for that. But um yeah, it's pretty easy to do. Some other requirements that you will need to get the visa are three sealed university transcripts. You also need to get a clear criminal background check and that usually kind of takes the longest to get. I feel like especially now with all you know the public offices not really operating at full speed. Um, yeah, so you need to get like your fingerprints taken um, and then sent that in for us people from the us it's like you have to send it into the fbi you get an fbi uh criminal background check um has to be clean <laughs> in order to get the visa um yeah you also need a passport photocopy you need to present a resume you also need to have a signed copy of the school contract uh, four passport sized photos and two letters of recommendation even though now that I'm thinking about it, I think I didn't have any letters of recommendation. So I'm not sure if that is still the case. Um, I don't know. But um, yeah, that's the general um, requirements or things, documents that you need in order to get your visa. But like before that, obviously, so you need to make sure like you have all of these things. You have your bachelor's degree, you know, prepare, get ready. And then um, once you have all of these things, you tick you tick all the boxes, you check all the boxes, um, you can then move on to uh, applying for a job. Once you have that, they will give you the contract and then you can usually, you can basically do like the final steps of going to the embassy and, you know, presenting all the documents and then you get your visa. So that's that, <laughs> basically. Thanks so much for watching. We are ITTT, the leading provider for TEFL and TESOL training courses. If you like this video, please subscribe by clicking the button down here and click on any of the videos here on the left for more interesting teaching tips for getting certified to teach English abroad and online.